Guys, this is an update on the progress on the 65 Mustang T5 swap. Now, this is the AOD that I pulled out of the car. So that's my speedometer for my Dakota Digital. So I'm gonna pull that out and I'll end up putting that on the T5. <clears throat> but I, guys, well, I wanna show you guys the mount that came in. That's the one I tried to use that was the AOD mount and it was just sitting way too high so this mount came in today get some of this stuff out of the way so this mount came in today and uh, I put it up there and it kind of dropped it down right where I wanted it to uh, real happy about that now the mount itself the passenger side for oh where the heck is it for this bolt on the passenger side, on this mount here, it's just a direct hole, where on this side, it's elongated. So what I had to do is I had to put it up like this, put it up, I had the, the rubber mount, I had that just enough to where I could barely move it. So I got the mount all into place and then I pulled it back down and then I used the Allen head to tighten the mount up into the transmission. And then I put this back in and uh, same thing over there on the passenger side, put that in first, but you gotta get these bolts to come through first. At least that's how I had to do it. And then this one over here, this one just, it slid right in. That one over there needed a little mallet, but nothing too bad. And then I was able to tighten that down, tighten that down. I've got my clearance all around, at least a cardboard, you know, thickness all the way around. So this, it's going to be fine. It's on there. And you can see my e-brake just went right in there, fit right in. I left that nut there <clears throat> loose on the cable so I can uh, tighten it down a little bit once I go to adjust it. But you can see that red cap, that's where that... Uh, that uh, VSS sensor off the AOD is going to go and then I'll just be able to go right in there once I start driving it and get the speed exactly where I need it so that was pretty nice now if we go over here I've been working on me and my son were working on getting the master cylinder for the uh, for the clutch now uh, you can see that right there. I had to make a template, put some tape on the firewall. I made a separate template out of just some masking tape and some cardboard and kind of got it in position uh, where I needed it. And then uh, there's two uh, screws that need to be drilled to hold that in place. So we drilled the two small ones and then bolted it down. And then that big hole there is like one and three eighths. So I went up to Ace Hardware and got one of these now there's not enough room to get in there so i used this which went right on to that bit over here went on right like that and you know took a little work but i got it to go through so i test fitted the master cylinder it's sitting right where i want it to to sit uh i got a little work to do on the inside and then I'll just, I'll be able to put the master cylinder on. I'll have to go down below it, down in here where that white line is. <clears throat> my distribution block for my brakes is gonna have to be moved somewhere down here. So I got all these lines in here, brake lines, that I'm probably gonna have to make some new ones, which I, you know, had been wanting to do anyways. So that's just uh, kind of an update.